going on guys? It's your boy EMC back again with another vlog because you know we don't stop, the grind don't stop, we're getting it. Daily vlogs, it doesn't matter what video we're posting, we're posting daily. His outfit, I am rocking a very colorful shirt today, but it is an Odd Future shirt. Uh, where's the Odd Future? Where, there, there it is. And you guys can probably tell by that. And it is like this floral, like rainforest design. Honestly, this was my favorite shirt, but I actually lost it. Literally just found it the other day. Again, just blue denim, and it is rainy today, so I'm honestly rocking Toms. Just because I don't want to get my new shoes soaked in water and mud and whatever the case may be, so I figure put on a pair of Toms, easy slip on, they have holes, and if they get wet, they get wet, you know? It is what it is. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not rocking a $1,000 pair of Yeezys when it's going to be raining and storming outside. I well, appreciate everyone that put their orders in. I'm going to the post office as usual. That's how we're starting off our day. Then I'm gonna go to the bank and I actually need to go to a mall not too close to me. It's probably about 30 minutes away. But if you guys saw the other day, I'm like obsessed with coach jackets. After getting that white one and after getting that camel one, it's like I want a black one. So I think I'm gonna go to PacSun again and bring the jacket that I bought the other day and just see if I can exchange it maybe for a black one. Um, I'm actually probably gonna exchange the one I got for you guys. The reason is I figured someone would have bought it but no one really jumped on it. And it's only, like I said, $15 less than retail shipped. By the way, I have free shipping, guys, if you guys didn't check. And, uh, and some people are like, Amelia, why are your prices higher? It's because I did free shipping. So an item might have been $20, and instead of paying $27.50, which is what original shipping fees, I put it for $23 shipped. You know, so that, that's where the price difference might come along, but you're actually saving a lot more money this way, so... Um, d prices are definitely lower on your part. So I'm gonna bring that camo one. Like I said, if I find a medium, if not, then I'll just leave it on the website. Eventually, I figure someone will cop it because it is a fire coach jacket. So we're just gonna get today started and let's get it, guys. Alright guys, I'm just leaving the post office now, shipped out everyone's orders, so you should get them, um, let's see, today's Saturday, you should get them by Wednesday the latest, but probably about Tuesday. So we're going to make our way to the mall, and I just remembered that Plato's Closet is right next to the mall, so we'll definitely do a Plato's Closet find, maybe we'll find some nice sneakers there and see what they got. So I've noticed a few of you guys have asked what car I drive, I drive a Volkswagen, and yes, the interior is nice. You know, it's like that cream with the black all around. But that's the only thing that's nice about this car. Honestly, guys, this car sucks so bad. It always breaks. It's horrible at driving. It's just, I, I hate this car so much. The only reason I got this car was to build credit. Like, I have to have a car to make payments so that way I can build credit and eventually get a better car in the future or to get like a house. So that's the only reason why I came and got this car. So hopefully in like early 2017, I'm gonna get a new car because, oh my God. See, look, right now I have low tire pressure and look, out of service. God dang it. All right. I'm hoping to get like a truck or an SUV this is my first car and I hate it. I honestly hate it. I had an F-150 before this, lifted on 33s and I loved it. I loved it and this car just sucks so bad. So if anyone is looking to get a Volkswagen, do what you want, but personally, I think they're the worst cars ever. Finally, this one works. All right guys, we're gonna put some air in the tire so we don't bust the tire. So, I didn't realize it's a Saturday and just looking at the mall parking lot, it is so packed. So we're actually gonna go to Plato's Closet first and then we'll end at the mall just so, I don't know, we'll do Plato's Closet first, just cause I decided that. So we're about to go pull it. So we're about to pull up the Plato's Closet. Let's see what they got guys.
the bank there, guys. Got so much stuff. All right, guys, I usually never find like that good of stuff at Plato's Closet, but I guess what they did was they just released like their storage unit and their storage unit had all those pieces because they usually don't collect vintage stuff. Literally all the jackets I got were vintage Nike and a pro player heat jacket that is vintage. That is so fire. Um, I have some bad news though that I think I'm going to keep those jackets that I got. I mean, I'll see um, how they fit and whatnot and if you guys are interested in it, but I believe I'm keeping those jackets. The shoes I am going to put on the website. They are the LeBron 8s. I'm going to clean them up a little bit before I show you guys them later on. But we are pulling straight ahead to the mall. So we're continuing our day. Let's hope it's another good day. Look at that. You, you stay positive. You find LeBron 8s. You find vintage jackets. You, you just got to, if you don't try, you won't succeed. That's the thing. So let's see what they got, guys. Diamond Supply has elongated shirts now. Come on now. Alright, so I did get something in Paxson. I swapped out that camo one. All right, let's see what Champs has to offer. All right, we're going to check if Tilly has any coach jackets. This Adidas shirt is fire. Low key trying to copy Supreme. All right, guys, so quickly just leaving the mall and I didn't get much. I mean, I switched out the jacket for the other hoodie that I got. Obviously, I'll show you guys once I get home. But now I think I'm gonna head to my boy Richie's shoe store. I'm gonna drop off uh, those pair of twos for him because he wanted to cop them. All right, guys, we just got to my boy's shoe store. Let's drop off these kicks. Ugh. Ugh. What up, what up? guys so I'm just leaving Richie's shoe store and we are going to go to the little consignment shop I've been there a couple times I am gonna have to play music over it just because they blast copyrighted music so I'm gonna check out see what sneakers they might have or any other finds and then we will head home and I will show you guys what I got all right and like I said they do play a lot of music so I'm just gonna play music over this little thing they might have a lot of stuff, they might have nothing, but let's check and see.
So we did end up buying something. All right, guys, so they didn't have too many good things. I did pick up a jacket, but I will head home right now and I will show you guys what I got for today's haul. Because we definitely got a lot of things, or I feel like we got a lot of things. Maybe we didn't, I don't know. So I will see you guys when we get back. All right, guys, so we just got back, so let's just jump straight into the haul. You guys did see, I did pick up these LeBron 8s. They are the USA edition. And not even lying, there are little stains, but I'm gonna clean this pair up to make them look brand new. Um, these are a size 12, I believe. These are a size 12. So I'm not gonna put them on my website till I fully clean them. But if anyone's interested in these, again, LeBron 8 USA. Very good condition. Probably looks like it's been used maybe three or four times. So I'm gonna clean them up, make them look really nice for you. If anyone wants them, just send me a DM. So we got these. Then we got this black colorway. I thought these are probably the, I figured these are a little bit nicer. The only reason is, is because it is suede. If you notice, it's a suede toe box. And this is the Miami Heat colorways. Obviously LeBron is in Miami Heat. I feel like these will always hold value just because it is the heat colors, the simple black and red. But if you notice, we have the speckled bottom in case you guys don't know about the Jordan 8 speckled bottom. We got the air bubble, black fly wire with the suede. And this is a size 12 as well. Um, I'm not gonna have to do too much cleaning with these. Maybe just clean the bottoms a little bit and maybe the speckled, but these are very good condition as well. I'd say both pairs are definitely nine out of 10 and they are a size 12. So if anyone's interested, maybe I could do a package deal. You want both of them since they are both the same size, I'll give you a really good price. Or if anyone just wants one or the other, just uh, send me a DM and I will get them to you guys. But I'm gonna clean them up and I will put them on my website in case if no one wants them. Stop. We got Captain here, cause he wants to say hi. My little dog was good. Look, you gotta look there. You gotta look that way. You gotta look that way. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> All right, jumping into the clothes. I got this at the last shop. I didn't show you guys though. I got this really nice black, lime green, and white Kuji. And if you notice, it has patches for days. It's a kangaroo right there. It says Kuji. See the black is like, let's see if that'll focus. It has the C's all around with the white. And then on the back, super nice. Australia, Kuji Australia. And if you notice, this is all patched. This is a size XL, but it kind of fits a little smaller. I did try it on and it definitely fit me. So it, I would say about a large to miniature XL or small XL. Just in case you want to see the other pair, like I said, really good condition. And this is the other one. Again, a size 12. It was closet. We did find this vintage Nike jacket. As you can see, Nike tag right there. And it's like almost like a coach jacket. I'm actually gonna try all these jackets on just so you can kind of get an idea. But if you notice, we got black with the forest green. And then on the back, we got Nike. And this is a size large, but it fits like an XL. I cop this for personal, but I love coach jackets. I don't know why I just got into it. Like I said, I bought that white one and then I bought the camo. So I had to get this one. This is a hooded, this is a hooded coach jacket, but it's so fire. It's like the new tan material, or sorry, tan colorway. I got this at Tilly's for ten dollars. It was on sale. Again, I'm gonna try on all these jackets. I'm just gonna run through what I got real fast. Did end up trading the size medium huff camo coach jacket, the one I did have for sale. And the reason is, is I found this black hoodie. And it's the same thing, but it's embroidered right there, embroidered right there. Just a simple, nice black huff hoodie. And then you got huff going down the sleeve. I don't, out of all the jackets I have, I don't have like a simple, nice black hoodie. So I definitely wanted to get this. So this was a nice cop. It's very rare to find vintage pieces inside Plato's closet. And the reason is, is they always buy, uh, what, two or three years before, like very new age stuff. This Pro Players Miami Heat jacket. And if you notice, it's like netting all on the front with the Miami Heat, goes into the color block, goes back into the netting. 
It says NBA patch on the sleeve. Got the P at the bottom. Again. And then on the back, we have the same like net material. I don't know if you guys can see that, how it's like a net over it. With Miami Heat. This jacket is honestly so fire. It doesn't have a size. Oh, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have a size tag, guys. But I believe it is a large. I'm not sure if I'm keeping this yet, and I'll show you why, because when you put it on, it is so fire. Last piece we found, which I know I bought a camo jacket yesterday, um, so I might sell this. And I didn't even think it was Nike until I actually looked at the tag, but if you see red Nike tag, which does mean vintage, we have a uh, skull and crossbones right there. It is like a camo coach jacket almost, but if you notice the collar is like two collars, if that makes sense. Like you have this one and then you have this one. But I'm gonna try them on real fast just so you guys can see what's good. So let's back you guys up. Let's angle you down. You don't know how many compliments I got in this Odd Future shirt today, by the way. It's so sick. All right. So for this camo one, this is a size XL camo, but I say it fits about a large because I'm a large and it, it fits me really well. So notice you got this nice camo. It's like the coach jacket, similar. Got the stripes on the sleeve. See, cam all around. And this is very soft and it does fit baggy. It's not It's not gonna be a slim fit, it is that vintage style. Um, it's not horribly baggy, but it's not slim fit, just so you guys can get an idea. So that's jacket one. The Miami Heat jacket. This jacket is so fire, I swear. And it is cuffed at the bottom, so it is, like it has elastic, so it is tight. But as you can see, Got the Miami Heat, and like I said, like this, see it's like a net material. But this jacket is ridiculous. NBA patch right there. That, Miami Heat. So yeah, this is about a large. You guys, the hooded coach jacket that I got. As you guys can see, really nice, simple nude coach jacket with the hood. Super light, super nice for Florida. Just a very nice piece. The last piece is Nike again. This says large, but I say it fits like an XL. Just because it is fairly baggy. You can see that. Nike on the back. This is a very warm jacket. And I, I say it fits like an XL, but actually looking at it in the mirror, yeah, I'd say it's about an XL. It does, it's just elongated. Uh, it's hard to show with the camera, I'm sorry guys, but it is long jacket, so large XL. It would be good for you. Those were today's pickups. By the way, if you guys didn't see yesterday's video, I'm doing free shipping for the United States. A lot of people have been like, why is your pricing different or why has it gone up? Um, it hasn't gone up. If something was priced $20 instead of $28 when I had the shipping, now I just made a $25 ship, $23 ship. So you guys are saving a few dollars and you're getting free shipping. You know, you see a flat rate of $20, that's all you're paying it and you get it to your door. You know, you don't have to pay any taxes. No more weird numbers buying something for $12.49. Like everything is going to be even, everything is going to be easy. So make sure you guys check that out. And if there's anything you guys see that is too priced, or if you want to buy a bundle pack, like if you want to buy a bunch of things, I will definitely hook you up with a better price. So just shoot me a DM on my Instagram at ditr954.com. But if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I do daily videos. It's been about a month now and we're absolutely killing it. We're almost at 2,000 subs, which is crazy because I did this about a year ago and I literally had six subscribers. So this is definitely my time. We're gonna we're gonna make it. Those sub base and a lot of people are are sending me DMs just saying, hey, like just wanted to say hi before you make famous. Guys, 
once I have a million followers or once I have whatever the sub count may be, I'm not going to change. I'm going to continue to talk to you guys. I'm going to continue to comment back on the comments on the videos. I'm going to continue to DM you, email you. Like, I'm not going to be that guy that is his head is so blown up and I ignore everyone. Because it, honestly, for the people that are making hundreds and thousands of dollars off of YouTube, yeah, they might do a giveaway here and there, but they're not really appreciating you guys. Like, I, I see a couple YouTubers and they, they don't appreciate their fan base. That you guys are the reason why they're living. They're, like, you guys are everything. So, I just want to give a huge thank you to everyone. Um, for everyone that's ordering, thank you so much. Like, you guys don't realize how much this means to me. And for everyone that continues to watch my videos, thank you guys so much. Hope you guys like my videos. And honestly, we'll just have better content every day progresses. Obviously, you know, when, when you start something new, it might be a little bit rocky. People that have been doing it since 2012, obviously, I don't have the description down like some other people. You know, some people can see a shirt and, oh, blah, 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 blah. But that's because they've been doing it since 2012, guys. They, like, if they, if they, if they look at something and they can't give me a description like that, then I'd be like, yo, you just stop what you're doing. So yes, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna get used to it. I'm comfortable with the camera, but as time goes on, I'll be better with my words. I'll be better with the camera. So just give it some time. By the way, everything that you did see on my website is either gonna be for sale or if it's not for sale, just send me a DM and I'll put it up. Since I only got a few things and I cleaned the shoes till I put it up, um, I figured I'm not gonna update the inventory right now. So if you guys see any jackets that you liked or if you want to purchase the shoes, send me a DM. I'll get them right to you. And make sure you guys come back tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. I wanna run away.